That scene comes up after Zamut discovers that Andil is married and has been telling her a lie and she told him that she's no longer interested. You lied to me. I know, but I mean, would you still be with me if I hadn't? Come on, I've been good to you. In that scene, it starts to get dark. What's happening over there is that he's just stalking her. He's finding uncomfortable moments where she's alone. I can't get divorced in a day. It's fine. Then take all the time you need. Zama is someone who always stands her ground. She knows who she is. And being intimidated by another man um, made her feel so insecure about herself and made her feel out of place. In that scene, it gets hectic. And when he doesn't get what he wants, he eventually turns to violence. Come on, you and me, we're... Andile, I said it's over. Kuta, <laughs> get out! As young women, or in general, when you feel like you like someone else, you overlook small hints that are given to you. And so with him, when, when he starts to show his true colors, it's more of a, I saw that coming moment for Zamora. Being in that scene made me feel what other women actually feel in real life. And it's such an emotional draining process and an emotional state that women go through. Shooting that scene was, it was super emotional. Hey. Please follow me. Ladies. He knows how to be the right person at the right time because around people he's considered the perfect man but whenever he's with Zamo that's when he starts to show her who, who he really is. An invoice for the money you still owe me from your startup loan. His key issue here really is that he feels inadequate and he needs affirmation, you know, so he's, he's possessive, he holds on to the things because that's his security. So when he gets to Zamo, he thinks he owns her. For a week. Thank you, boss. Daddy. Instead of being in a situation where he's protecting her, he's actually taking advantage of her. And that's the problem that we are dealing with today, in that we can't really rely on our men to be the men that we need them to be. And I think it's not just in the country, it's a global thing, in that our, our men are not stepping up to the plate. I think right now in South Africa we have so many topics that are being brought up about gender-based violence where a woman feels the need to stay in a relationship with a man who abuses her, whether emotionally or physically. And it's something that we need to speak up against because so many young women die because they're afraid to speak out there, because they're afraid to leave. Not all that glitters is gold. And just for the men out there, we can be better. It's up to us to change.